said, you know, this is one of these rivalries. Uh, even when it was Southwest Conference Big Eight, maybe it was a, a bigger rivalry in a sense then. But it hasn't lost any of its effect. And this crowd has uh, noticed that as Perryman with the three can't get it down and stone the rebound. And that's going to do it. So Oklahoma, a team that looked like it was going to struggle in the first half, just hung around, hung around, got to the free throw line. And they end up taking a one-point lead at halftime here in Austin, 31-30. Chris Fowler's coming up with our MCI Halftime Report. Well, Corey Brewer from the free throw line did the job with 13 points. Uh, Evan Wiley with seven. And then Manecki with 11 points and four rebounds. And Chris Mim. And then you see Axel and Smith both with three as we're on the way. Second half here from Austin. Big 12 matchup. Oklahoma and Texas. Second meeting of the year. And the tip in. And who's the guy? Gabe Manecki got off to a great start. Starting the same way in the second half. Nice play by Benecki, and, and one thing he will do is attack the offensive board. So imperative to screen him out, get some contact on him. Nahara tries to get it inside to Humphrey. Now fouls are going to be something we've got to watch here in the uh, second half. Ryan Humphrey's got three. Michael Johnson has three. Allison has three. And then Manecki's also got three for Texas. And Perryman with three fouls. It looks like Kelvin Sampson's trying to address Manecki right away in, in, in terms of getting Humphrey the ball inside and forcing Manecki to defend. Black got a piece of it, and Nim comes away with it. Black only took two shots in the first half. They're going to try to post him up, uh, posting up Manecki, rather, try to get him the ball inside. And that's going to be four on Humphrey. Boy, they went right at the freshman. Well, I, I thought Humphrey had an opportunity at the other end of the floor to try the fourth foul on Manecki, but never did get the ball. And here Manecki's very smart. When he did receive the basketball, he knows the guy defending him has the three fouls. So work on the baseline, take it to the rim, force the official to make the call. So fourth foul on Ryan Humphrey, and he's staying in the game, Roger. So obviously... Uh, Kelvin Sampson feels like he's got to keep uh, his star player or one of his star players on the floor. But you can bet Tom Pen Penders will address that in a hurry. Well, now they're going to take him off. Yeah, he comes out and Evan Wiley checks in. So Kelvin Sampson, who has really a depleted bench because of injuries, has his star freshman now picking up his fourth foul here in the first minute of the second half as... Manecki hits one of two, and he's got 14 points, and it's 33-31. Texas, the two-point lead, measuring from the side for three, and he has got it, Corey Brewer. The good news for Oklahoma is, is that Brewer did not have a prolific shooting half from the perimeter. Look at Axtell. That is a ball. Well, you thought that was a little too far. You said, well, that may be out of his range. But uh -uh. I, I never said that. <laughs> I, you looked this it. is way outside. <laughs> well, maybe you just got to find that place where you're real comfortable and nobody's in your way. It's Johnson is trapped at midcourt, and it's over and back. And it will be totally comfortable. So Axel hit one three in the first half. That was his only three points. And he comes out here in the second half and knocks a three-pointer down. So Axel now. Two of four from three-point land as the ball off the glass and loose, and Brewer battling over there with Vasquez, and it's going to be Texas basketball. I'll tell you, Brewer got the ankle early, got poked in the eye later. You know, it's interesting. You talk to Texas people about that first game, and they'll tell you, well, you know, Manek or rather Brewer and Stone were the ones throwing all the stuff. You talk to Oklahoma people, and they say it was Manecki, you know, doing it. It was a very physical game of five technicals in that first one. Fouls on Renzai Stone. Second team foul. Yeah, man to man on the out of bounds. You got to look out for Clack coming off the screen. Clack, you called it, Dan, right there. Off balance shot and just his second hoop of the day. And it's 38 34, Texas. And Black on Brewer, man-to-man -man now by Texas. Nice so, pass. Yeah, he is a nice passer, isn't he? 
Nahara gets it back inside. Boy, they're really collapsing inside on Wiley. Now he's got some space. That's going to be. Count it. Count it to Evan Wiley, and he's got nine. Well executed by Kelvin Sampson's Oklahoma Sooners. You, you really love the high to low. Unselfish. Throw it out. Let the defense come back at you. Bring it back in. And now it's more of a one-on-one -on -one situation. So Wiley made some very good decisions when he was playing the low post. Mim will take it. That's a two. And Brewer has it stripped from behind. And the foul is going to be called on Vasquez. Third foul on Chico Vasquez. First. Tom Penders, so many years back east, Tufts, Columbia, Fordham, Rhode Island. I think uh, this is the place now, though. I don't think he's going no, anywhere else. I don't, I don't think he is either. This is the spot. Wiley loses it back to Stone. That was an inadvertent pass. As Brewer can't get it down. Wiley, the offensive board, and in. So Evan Wiley is come off the bench do a nice job he's got 11 points averaging 10 points on the season and that is the first tie of the game at 38 with 17 12 left to go here in austin and an offensive foul called on chico vasquez and that is his fourth well, a great job i thought that time by michael johnson to move his speed and you look at johnson anticipate get his body in front vasquez with the foul so fourth foul on Chico Vasquez and uh, good effort by Oklahoma. Going to trap again. Trying to get uh, Nahara in the middle and see if they can give him the ball. Look for the guy in the middle. That's a nice pass and take the shot. Well executed. He's got that. I'll tell you, he's got big hands. He just sort of palms that ball, gets it up in the air, the one-handed jumper. Nice little mid-range shot. You know what I like about Nahara? He allows the game to flow to him. Right. The guy does not force the action. Boy, they, they are calling it close again this half. I mean, <laughs> we saw 32 fouls in the first half. We may see 32 in the second. This is the way you break the press. Look at the pass. Try to get the ball into the middle of the floor. And Nahara, under control, stops at the foul line and makes a good decision with the open J. And now another foul. That's going to be on Mim. And that's going to be his third. Players have to understand, Roger, when they set screens, they have to be stationary. If you're moving and the defender hits you while you're moving, the foul is on the screener. Now they're going to double up. Johnson's made some good decisions against the trap. Wiley's getting pretty good position on Mim down low as Johnson kicks it back outside the drawer. Boy, what another nice pass by Stone. Johnson for three. Won't go. And out of bounds, it's going to be Oklahoma basketball. Axtell had it on his hands, and of course the Texas crowd wanted the foul on Nahara. <laughs> Oklahoma putting on the clinic on how to pass the ball in a half-court set. I mean, they're putting uh, four and five touches on the basketball. Good defense that time by Texas to drop down. See if they can convert in the open court. They got the numbers back to, and that was a poor pass from Maneki trying to find clock. Really sort of a lackadaisical pass as Johnson at the other end of Stone for the finish. Yeah, the, the one thing you love about Johnson, he's looking pass first. Yeah. Johnson is not looking to shoot the ball much unless you give it to him. He's just playing a very solid game. He had like 19 assists earlier this year uh, against North Texas. Yeah, he, he's a guy I tell you love to play with if, you, if you're running the break. Mim blocked by Stone, and Oklahoma has it. They lead it now, 42-38, their biggest lead. Johnson dumps it off to Nahara, and they've got it. The Sooners now on a run, and Texas wants a timeout. When the Oklahoma bench explodes. What a job by Johnson in the open court. I mean, you love to play with a guard that will distribute the basketball because the big guys will run the floor. They know Johnson's going to get him the ball. Again, their defense really created offense for Oklahoma. Good job to steal the ball, and then Johnson just darts down the floor, and the big guys will run. And Nahara, great hands right around the 10, and he goes up and finalizes the play. So Oklahoma has done it with defense, and Johnson, you better give him a hug because Johnson's a guy that's made it happen. Johnson from Las Vegas, Nevada. Spent time at a couple of junior colleges in L.A. and then back in Chicago before he finally found his way to Norman, Oklahoma. 
Well, this day started off like it was going to be a long one for Kelvin Stampson and the Sooners, and it looks like they've got things turned around. A six-point lead here with 15.35 to go in the game from Austin. And I think, it, I think if you're Texas, now is the time to go back with, with what worked early. That is, get it to Clack. Clack did not have a big game, but Min should handle the basketball. Min has it and hits it. Little step back for Chris Mim, and he's got nine. And Roger, it looked like they want to...